The Rocky Mountains are home to many wild creatures, but there's one in particular with a uniquely fascinating story. A fish once thought to be extinct that is now fighting for its right of life on this planet. And saving these fish involves an unexpected strategy. This is the story of how conservation, teamwork, and an accidental discovery all brought Colorado state fish back from the brink of extinction. I'm on my way to a really exciting filming gig where I'm gonna be capturing a volunteer event with Trout Unlimited, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, and the U.S. Forest Service. They're gonna be bringing together conservationists, anglers, and just general volunteers who are each going to get their own bag of native greenback cutthroat trout to put into their backpacks, trek up into the mountains, and release them in their native range. To really understand the importance and the significance of an event like this, you have to understand a little bit about the fascinating history behind the greenback cutthroat trout. Native cutthroat trout are undeniably a special fish, and they've taken my brother and I to some of the most beautiful places in the world as we've chased them with our fly rods. Oh, come on! We couldn't have said it better ourselves when the authors of Colorado Greenback Cutthroat Trout, A Fisherman's Guide, say they live in places of amazing beauty and somehow just feel right in these surroundings. Not to take anything away from brooks, browns, and rainbows that can be found throughout our mountain lakes and rivers, but they're just not quite as inspiring as Cutthroat, whose ancestors have been residents here for thousands of years. The Greenback Cutthroat Trout is Colorado's state fish, and they represent more than just the state's rugged natural beauty. They tell a story of resilience and conservation. Originally believed to inhabit both the South Platte and the Arkansas River basins, genetic research has revealed that their native range was restricted to the South Platte Basin in eastern Colorado. The greenback's unique genetic makeup became both its defining trait and the reason for its near disappearance. In the late 19th century, the greenback population plummeted due to habitat destruction, pollution, and hybridization caused by the introduction of non-native trout species. By 1937, it was thought to be extinct. However, in the 1950s, biologists found isolated populations of greenbacks in remote streams of the Rocky Mountains, reigniting hopes of saving the species. The road to recovery had plenty of setbacks. In the early 2000s, advanced genetic testing revealed that many trout previously identified as greenbacks were actually hybrids or other cutthroat trout. Remarkably, the last true greenbacks were discovered in a four mile stretch of water, Bear Creek. Their survival was attributed to the efforts of a 19th century homesteader named Joseph C. Jones. He had stocked the creek for his guests' recreational fishing and unknowingly safeguarded the lineage of Colorado's state fish. Hey everyone, it's Andy from Breaker Bros. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. You know, videos like this take a lot of time to research and a lot of time in production. And we can't do these videos without you all as viewers so uh, we want to thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying please consider subscribing to our youtube channel it's free it only takes a second and we would really appreciate it all right back to the video thanks today efforts to restore the true greenback cutthroat trout persist Organizations like Colorado Parks and Wildlife and Trout Unlimited have undertaken innovative measures to ensure the species' survival. Hatcheries in the southern end of the state are breeding pure strain greenbacks, while streams are being cleared of non-native species to create habitats suitable for the reintroduction. Already, several populations have been re-established in select streams and lakes with a long-term goal of creating a network of 
thriving habitats spanning 40 miles. And part of the interesting plan to reintroduce these fish requires that volunteers hike into remote parts of Colorado with a backpack full of these amazing fish. And that leads us perfectly into the volunteer event that I'm at today with the Rocky Mountain Flycasters chapter of Trout Unlimited. So I'm here pretty deep in the Colorado backcountry and I'm currently catching up to the group of volunteers that's out here today. By the time we catch up with them, they should be ready to release the trout into the stream. So let's go watch this special moment. Greenback's journey is a testament to survival and perseverance, a powerful reminder of the importance of protecting even the smallest remnants of nature. It's important that we all do our part to preserve these creatures and these places that we love, whether that's volunteering with a local nonprofit or even just sharing a story like this. By ensuring the survival of this iconic trout, we not only preserve its legacy, but also reaffirm our commitment to the future of wild ecosystems.